Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome you to my geography class. So what we will learn today? Today we will know about the plantation farming from the chapter agriculture for class 10. Now let us get started. What do you mean by plantation? Plantation farming is a type of export oriented specialized method of farming which is mainly a type of commercial farming in this type of farming we will see that large tracts of land or we can say that a large estate is required to make this type of farming successful this type of farming got a long history we can say that from when it started the plantation farming started from the period of colonization so we can say that plantation farming is a product of colonialism now which are the areas or which are the regions where this type of farming is mainly practiced this type of farming is mainly practiced in the areas which experience tropical and subtropical climate because it needs a good amount of rainfall and high temperature so what is plantation farming a type of export oriented specialized method of farming is known as plantation farming which is a type of commercial farming where we need large tracts of land and large estate to make this type of farming successful this is a product of colonialism and mainly these are practiced in those areas which experience tropical and subtropical type of climate now let us know the features of the plantation farming features of plantation farming now in this type of farming we will see that a single crop is grown so we can say that monoculture is practiced they need large tracts of land or we can say large land holdings for this type of cultivation mostly we will see that this type of farming is practiced in remote areas where they will get land in cheaper rate and a large land holding is easily available for cultivation the plantation farming uses high sophisticated and scientific methods why to produce at a large scale because it is mainly export oriented that means the farming is done for commercial use not for farmers self consumption so we can say that profit maximization is the main aim of this type of farming they use modern 
inputs like insecticides, pesticides, fertilizers at a large scale so that they can increase the production. They also use modern machineries as a lot of work is done with the help of these machines. So they use a lot of modern machineries for this type of farming. Well, as we have learned that in plantation farming, we use modern inputs and modern machineries are used at large scale. Now the question is from where the modern machineries are imported, like from where they are bought. Entire technical expertise machineries infrastructural materials are collected from the foreign countries here in plantation the crops are planted in a neat row now what is the most important prerequisite of the plantation farming is that they require a well network of transportation and communication which will connect the plantation area with the processing unit and the market. It is very important to have a well network of transportation and communication because mostly in plantation farming the crops are cultivated for export to foreign countries. So transportation network and communication system should be well developed to make the plantation farming a very successful type of farming. Now let us see the other features of plantation farming. Plantation farming is very much labor intensive. That means we can say that large numbers of manual labors are required. Why? For pruning, for plucking of leaves, we need a large number of manual labors. But along with manual labors, we also need skilled labors or we can say labors of high grade or high managerial skills. Here in plantation farming, we will see that it supports migration or we can say that it encourage migration because a large number of migrant labor are employed in this farming. As we have 
read in our history book that a large number of people, especially the tribal people, migrated to work as a plantation worker in a plantation farm or in the coal mines when the forest law was introduced and their land was encroached by the Britishers and they were not allowed to enter the forest at that time as there was no job, as there was no work. So they migrated to work in the plantation or in the coal mines. So a large number of migrant levers are employed in this farming activity. This farming activity is capital intensive. I would say the most capital intensive because it needs a lot of investment in purchasing machineries for the infrastructure for labor so it needs a lot of investment in purchasing machineries infrastructure labor so we can say it is quite capital intensive though in terms of labor we will see that in this type of farming mainly the search for manual laborers who are available at cheap rate but a lot of investment has to be made to hire a high grade on, or labor of great managerial skills. They need to purchase machineries from the foreign countries and also a lot of uh, amount, a lot of capital has to be invested in the infrastructure of this type of agriculture. Now let us see the other features of plantation farming. Plantation farming. has an interface of agriculture and industry so we can say that it is a combination of agriculture and industry because not only cultivation or growing of crops is the main activity in this type of farming. A lot of industrial work is involved in this type of farming like packaging, processing, all are what all are industrial works. So we can say it is a combination of agriculture and industry. We will see that the products that are obtained are used as raw materials in other industries. Mostly this type of farming is associated with the economy of underdeveloped and developing countries. So we can say that the plantation farming is mainly associated with the economy of underdeveloped and developing countries. There are very few developed countries who encourage the plantation farming. Now let us see that which type of crops are mainly grown in plantation farming. Crops like tea, coffee, rubber, sugarcane, banana, etc are cultivated in this type of farming. Now, after the farming, after they are cultivated, what happens? They are exported to foreign countries. That means we can say that as we said that it is mainly associated with the economy of the underdeveloped or the developing countries. So developing countries export and who imports? Imported 
by the developed countries. There is a high demand of this plantation crops. Here, the primary use the product as raw materials. Now, let us know that in India, where the plantation farming is practiced, region where it is practiced in India, Assam, Darjeeling, in West Bengal, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra. Like I know, everybody knows that, that the tea of Assam and of our North Bengal is very famous and the coffee of Karnataka. So all this are the plantation crops that are cultivated in these regions of India. Well, so what we have learned in today's video. In today's video, we learned about the plantation farming. Like what is plantation farming and what are the features of plantation farming? As we came to know about that it is export oriented, capital intensive, labor intensive. It needs a large tract of land. Mainly it is practiced in remote areas where the density of population is quite low, where we get cheap labors easily, large tracts of land are available. It is mainly associated with the economy of the developing and the underdeveloping countries. So all these points, all these features are important to understand that how plantation farming is different from any other form of farming and I hope so all of you understood it very well. Well, what you will do now? You will read the book, you will read in between the lines and also will read the PDF that has been provided in the description box for better understanding. If you have any comment or any suggestion, do comment here in the comment box given below. If you like my video and my content, do share it among your friends so that more of them can get benefited and do hit the like button if you feel that yes you really like the video. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications of my upcoming videos. Till then, stay tuned for my next video. Take care and stay safe. Mm -hmm.